Jason, well, concerns about unsafe practices at UAB Hospital getting hundreds of thousands of views on social media. Yeah, posted by a former contract worker denied by UAB. This is a story you'll only see here on WVTM 13. Maddie Davis joins us live. You spoke with both sides today, Maddie. Yeah, yes, the woman who posted the video tells me she has worked at hospitals across the country. She says she has often noticed unsafe practices, but here at UAB, she says it was at it was at a different level and uh, how UAB, however, they disagree with those allegations. It is absolute insanity. A contracted employee taking to social media to voice her concerns. On Alessandra Nicholson's first day on the job at UAB, she noticed construction workers in blue jeans and employees in t-shirts behind hospital red lines. So this would be equivalent to going into an operating room and seeing someone in blue jeans. It's just a major no, no. Nicholson worked as a sterile processing manager at the time and alleges this was reoccurring behavior. But one of the biggest red flags, she says, was improper storage of surgical equipment. Our manager came to tell us that we had used a dirty Medtronic spine instrument on a patient and that they didn't find out until after they had already started using the instrument during the case. She also says employees were getting cut by surgical instruments on a weekly basis. It's something that does happen in our space, but the frequency that I saw it at UAB was extremely concerning to me because um, it, it was I would say at least a couple people a week. She resigned saying she could no longer work in an environment putting employees and patients at risk. We reached out to UAB in a statement they tell us we are aware of and firmly disagree with assertions made on TikTok by an individual who worked in UAB hospital for roughly seven weeks through a service provider and who no longer works in our facility. And we follow extensive multi-layer processes and oversight measures to sterilize and track medical equipment. When voicing her concerns to UAB management, Nicholson says they weren't acknowledged. Her TikTok video now has hundreds of thousands of views. Attention Nicholson thinks is critical to save lives. You can have the best surgeon in the entire world, top class, well trained, but if we put dirty instruments in their hand, there's nothing that they can do to circumvent that outside of additional antibiotics. And at that point, it's, it's just a, a gamble of whether or not that patient is going to contract something that impacts their lives. Nicholson says she's not sure if she will ever be placed in a hospital again, but she says somebody needed to spark a conversation about hospital sterilization processes. Live in Birmingham, I'm Maddie Davis, WVTM 13.